Good morning, guys. We are here once again for the part two of our Antarctic experience. Hi, guys. It's the third day of scenic cruising. It's cloudy today. Also, it's foggy early this morning. So, uh, we are here going into another scenery. Today, guys, we are on our way to Wilhelmina Bay. Sana mag-improve ito later on. Over there, it's uh, I think it's either snowing or raining. At may nakita ko dito kanina yung uh, whale. Pero nagpakita lang minsan, hindi na nagpakita ulit. cloudy today guys but you can see that the water is so calm by the ripple of the water as the ship is passing and the scenery is still so beautiful it's still so bright even if it's cloudy it's about negative two degrees centigrade today and as you can see there are bits of ice floating on the water yeah. guys the ship is turning yes guys it is turning so we would be able to see the other side we are on the port side so we're gonna see the other side of the bay as it turns, we will be able to see the view over there on the starboard side of the ship. Tingnan nyo guys, oh kahit na cloudy very bright pa rin ang mga glaciers at nagre-reflect sila ng light. I just can't express how beautiful it is. You guys, may mga tubig na tumutulo. Yung medici lang yata. Ayan, nagiging ice sila. Kaya, pagdating doon sa baba, um, too big lumalagatok kasi <laughs> ano siya yung solid na yan gaya maririnig, maririnig nyo parang mga hail pero too big yan nagaling dito sa taas ang tataas ng bundok hindi na makikita And guys, ang tataas ng bundok na backdrop dyan hindi gaano makita kasi covered with ice at saka mababa ang clouds na tatabunan nila kasi plastic kaya na rin ang daming lumulutang na mga iceberg iba-ibang sizes Immerse yourselves, guys, in this awesome sight that can only be seen here in Antarctica. Guys, we are going to Paradise Harbor. Tingnan nyo yung tubig na yan, nahulog. Mga snow yan kanina na naipon. Ngayon, nagiging parang nagiging ice pag ano nila. Snow yan na natunaw kanina, pero habang nahulog sila, nagiging ice. Ayan, tingnan mo yan doon. Ayan, may ice na lumulutang. Iceberg na maliit. Ayan, malamig pa rin. Third day pa lang ng ano to, ng scenic cruising. May isa pa bukas, kaso lang this uh, day, 
sa weather doesn't operate there's a lot of fog and clouds kaya ito maganda sana yung kung makikita mo na clear kasi lang cloudy eh pero okay lang naman maganda pa rin guys ito napapasok na kami sa paradise harbor tapos lang mag snow ang temperature ngayon ay 28 degrees minus 2 degrees centigrade 28 degrees Fahrenheit or more or less yeah, yeah. bibihis kami at punta kami doon sa taas sa kapilang side mas maganda yan at doon Behind the skies are views of high snow-covered mountains and lots and lots of glaciers and icebergs. These glaciers are just so enormous and beautiful. They say that some of the mountains here or areas are covered with over two miles thick of ice and snow. Guys, we are leaving the Paradise Island or Paradise Bay. Jarlas Strait, we go to New Myers Channel. As you can hear, the wind is getting stronger and the water is not as calm as when we were in the bay. Guys, it's along New Myers Channel. Uh, and Mabagal na yung takbo namin. Today guys, the ship will deliver pizza to Port Lacroix, a former British research station. There are four women scientists in that station who will be staying there the whole summer. The ship's crew will use this rescue boat which is now being lowered from its storage place. Pizza delivery! Okay. It just been delivered guys and they are coming back. There they are. They're getting closer. They are fast. Yay! There you go. Yay! Mission accomplished. Pizza delivery. In Antarctica. Port Lacroix, guys, was once a British research station until 1962, and these days it is being used as a museum and a post office for visitors to write to friends and for themselves to read when they get back home. It is called the Penguin Post Office. It has been delivered and they are hoisting back the rescue boat to its storage place. When Chilean passengers knew that the pizza has been delivered by Chilean crew, they were so proud and they cheered the crew. Guys, palabas na kami sa New Myers Channel. Kaya ayan, palakas na naman hangin. Tapos
Tapos uh, maalon na naman. Kasi medyo pabukas na yan dyan sa unahan. Yan, nag snow na naman. Uy! Grabe ang snow flurries. Hi guys, we're going to the Reception Island in a couple of hours and we'll be going straight to the Drake to go back to South America. This is the last island that we will see before we go back to the Drake Passage. The last island for this cruise which is called the Deception Island. In the middle of that island is a caldera of a volcano. It is an active volcano that erupted in 1966, 1967, and 1970. This is the last uh, scenery before we leave Antarctica. So this is the last uh, part of our Antarctic cruise before we leave for uh, uh, Chile or uh, Punta Arenas or Ushuaia. So uh, guys, I can see from here but you can even smell the the penguins from here they're over there and for the pilot said uh, there's like about 200 thousand pairs of them here he was saying that we're gonna live Antarctica in style so I don't know what does he mean as Mr. Benji had mentioned, the captain of the ship had said we will be leaving Antarctica in style because we have a good weather today and are able to get closer to Deception Island. Others can't go closer because of the bad weather. It is said that this volcano erupts every century so they are foreseeing that sooner or later within a century this volcano will erupt again there are no native antarcticans nor permanent residents in antarctica however there are scientists and researchers that temporarily live here during the summer months there are about 5,000 of them, and during the winter months, there are about 1,000 of them that live here. Ayan na, pupunta daw kami doon, pero hindi na makapasok because uh, they changed the rules ships that has more than 500 passengers or 500 passengers or more cannot get in there there are some expedition ships there which has like uh, less than 500 who still can go there and explore that area this ship guys has about 2600 passengers plus the crew so we cannot get in there so guys this is the opening to the caldera in 2020 Coral Princess was able to sail in there. However, since then they changed the rules that big ships are not allowed there anymore. As you can see, there is a small expedition ship in there right now. At present, there are two research stations in that caldera. This island here, right at the opening of the caldera, is called the Wheeler island because of the sound of the wind the wheels as it passes through here we can barely see the penguins guys but we can smell them the guanas of these penguins are very rich so this is the deception island an active volcano here in Antarctica. And this opening. 
happen here. Okay, this is the deck of the Princess Cruises. We are on our way out of Antarctica now, guys. Goodbye, Antarctica. It was such a pleasure. It is so awesome to be with you this past four days. We will leave you behind for others to see and enjoy. According to statistics, only 0.0125% of the world's population had been here. So, it is awesome that we have the opportunity to be here and we are thankful and grateful to God for his many blessings. In a couple of hours, and we'll be going straight to the Drake to go back to South America, Punta Arenas, Chile. And here we are, back again onto the Drake Passage. Thank you dear God for keeping us safe and thank you guys for watching. We will see you on our next video.